Hi guys, I'm going to be talking about the colour black and when to use it. Black is actually quite an unnatural colour. Pure black is not present in, in nature quite as much as you think it is. Obviously at night, yeah, you've got a lot of black. But we're talking about the actual colour of things when you shine a light on them. Back to black. When should you use black? Well, as a rule of thumb, I would say as an absolute last resort, the very last thing you should be thinking about is the colour black. It's an extreme. If you reach that extreme too early, you can't go anywhere from that. We're trying to create something that's natural and has natural gradients. And if you just plonk black down without slowly getting to it, it you can end up making your picture look flat. And not only flat, but you can make the colours in your picture look really sort of murky and grey. So, I've used this Amy Winehouse picture I did last year as an example. If I had started using actual black from here, where you see it getting darker, you wouldn't have this natural gradient to let's say over here or here where there is literally a void of color and it's black even here it's not quite black yet it's it's you know it's only when you get right to the edge where her jet black hair takes over that i start using black but even with her jet black hair i don't use black to start with even then to begin with, I will always use the Polychromos Dark Sepia. A really, really important colour this is. Put it down, it's almost like, yeah, that, that pretty much looks like black, but it is not. Not only is it slightly lighter, it's a kind of brown in a way. It's like a very, very dark brown, which is a much more natural colour. It's, it's much more likely in nature, when I say in nature, I mean skin, hair, or trees, that kind of thing. You know, not man-made objects. In nature, you get this colour more often than you get a pure black. You get all kinds of variants of a very dark hue. Even here, I mean, I'm not even using dark CBA here. Here, we're using dark browns. These are really dark, nice dark browns that I'm using. But the reason I say sepia is really important is that sometimes brown isn't the right colour. Um, sometimes you could be using, let's say, when I did the Hulk picture, um, he's green. So... Let's say, you know, you go from light green, medium green, dark green, really dark green. Well, what comes after really dark green? N not black. Definitely not black. Sepia. Sepia comes after really dark green. And this, this you know, this is why this is such a versatile colour. Um, it works in a lot of situations. It's not that you have to come from dark brown to use sepia you know you could go from like a really dark red i mean i think these lips are a good example actually uh you know this is all done with various hues of red darker hues of red here getting darker and darker and darker but where it gets the darkest it's not black it's sepia i think maybe just here, I added a tiny little speck of black, and just here. But other than that, it's mostly sepia that has darkened this. Obviously, after adding all the other darker reds, before adding the sepia. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's quite an important thing. Let me just get out the Hulk picture and show you how I used sepia in that one. Almost all the dark stuff in this is done with sepia and not black. 
because I want it to still look colourful. The, the, the problem with black is, when you start mixing things with black, they can end up looking grey, uh, rather than looking a naturally darker version of the colour you're trying to make. So, very important, make sure you don't just end up with black using black straight away. It's, it's got to be the very last resort, like the last thing you'd ever use. Just don't use it. Don't use it straight away, ever, 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 ever. Just hold off, you know, be really stubborn. You know, is it time to use the black yet? No, it's not time to use the black. I'm still adding more colours into this. The, the, the less black you use, the more colourful uh, pigments you use, the, the, the richer your picture will look. Of course there are exceptions, like Skrillex's glasses here. The glasses are man-made and they are black. It's as simple as that, you know, they're not, they're not natural, they're man-made and they've been made to be black. So, yeah, you're going to need to use black on it. And no, you're not going to need to use sepia because those glasses are not sepia at all. Um, there's no brown in them. It's, it's all black. That's a good example of where black is necessary. Also, his hair is quite dark as well in this picture. But still, because the hair isn't, or isn't it's not a man-made thing, I still like to add a bit of sepia blending into the black. Let's show an example of when you use black to shade stuff and it sort of makes things look a bit murky. Let's say you've used um, this colour here. This is, I think this is Caput Mortem Polychromos. And it's getting darker. So we're using Caput Mortem Violet now, slightly darker. Now, where do we go from here? Because this is about as dark as this kind of colour gets. How can we go darker? Well, we've always got to think, where can I go now without going to black? We desperately cannot go to black. We've got to think about anywhere else that we can go that isn't black, yeah? And quite often, there isn't really another option. There isn't a super, super dark uh, Caput Mortem Violet, for instance. And the best option you've got to go a little bit darker than this would be to go to Dark Sepia. So, see, it's, it's a more natural gradient. And obviously it's going quite dark quite quickly there. So we'd, you'd blend it nicely with the... Uh, Caput Mortem Violet here that I'm showing you. So you see, this is this feels like a, a more natural gradient. And then the very last thing you do at the very extremities of when the colour becomes its darkest, you then add the black. Then you really do see the black. And you really do see a natural gradient. This area here is a much more natural colour now than it would be if we'd done it this way. Caput Mortem. Caput Mortem Violet. And then straight to black. You see, it doesn't feel as good. A very sudden switch to black and you're also making this sort of weird murky color where you're using black to blend other colors generally speaking black isn't very good for blending with other colors as much you know unless yes you are working with grays then that's fine a black is going to always create gray you got to remember that if you blend a black with a lighter color it's going to create some kind of grey. If I blend this black with, let's say, you know, this pink, which is an awful idea, but anyway, it's, it's gonna make a kind of grey. Can you see? Can you see what it's doing? It's, it's making this pink, this lovely 
rich in colour, bright reddish pink. It's just making into this dull grey colour. So we don't want that. We generally speaking, we don't. Things don't do that. You know. I mean, unless you're drawing dirt, <laughs> or I don't know. It's the more natural thing to do would be if we want to make this darker. We have a look at what's naturally darker for this hue which you know you could go to all kinds of places you could go to here which is this is uh yeah pomeranian red you see this is a, this is a more natural way of making this pink look darker you know and then you'd slowly make it even darker by adding something like this i can't remember what this one's called but and so on and then we get to here you know, and okay, yeah, we could just make this into here now. So now we add the caput mortem um, after this one. You see, caput mortem violet after the caput mortem. Then, not black, dark sepia. I mean, even the dark sepia is quite an extreme jump, you know, you, you've... This is why black is so dangerous when you're, um... When you're trying to make colours pop out. It can really dull everything. And then, last but not least, black. Let me just add this sepia in here properly. Uh, yeah. And you can see, that creates a much more nice, colourful gradient than if you were to go from something so light like pink straight into black. I mean, even going from pink straight into dark sepia wouldn't be that great, but it certainly would be more natural and it would look more natural, not create such a horrible gray uh, tone. See, the sepia immediately, when I use it with the pink, it looks more brown, which is more, uh, which again is still more natural looking if we're talking about colors here than if we use black. So, bear that in mind, guys. Um, it's an important thing to think about. Um, make sure you have, if you're drawing, make sure you have plenty of dark sepia by Polychromos. I know luminance do dark colors as well, but I, I don't like dark colors as much in the luminance range. I find them a little bit gritty um, and also, I find that they don't go quite dark enough. Uh, they're not. They're sl slightly lighter. It feels. I don't know. It's. Yeah. Anyway, my own preference. You guys just work it out for yourselves if you if you prefer the uh, luminance over it. But luminance will have similar colours to this. Make sure you always go for the. The darkest thing before you get to black really important another thing you guys can do to illustrate this point to yourselves is if any of you use photoshop go on photoshop find a photograph of let's say you know in the daytime like a meadow or like your street or something it's more it's better if you use like a, a natural scene take a photo of somewhere natural or someone's face and then use the the uh, the eyedropper in Photoshop to click on various dark places in that photograph, and you will see that the color Photoshop recognizes in those dark areas will most certainly not be black. It will be something more like this color. It will be a very dark version of the colors that are in that area rather than being purely black. It's quite hard to get pure black when you're using eyedropper in Photoshop. It's quite hard to get pure black out of a natural picture, you know. I mean unless it's literally all in shadow or something like that, you know. It's So, keep that in mind. It's an important thing to think about. And have fun drawing. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.